Hi there people, this is a straightforward guide to Bing Safe Online by me, Paul Clayton from Soulship Communications. Right, uh, there are things to remember in this presentation, so never give out your personal details. Scam emails are built and created to be unnerving and provoke fear and uncertainty. It's also about if you get any emails or phone calls from anyone and they get pushy, then ignore them. If in doubt, throw it out. So councils and government like to send letters instead of emails and texts to let you know if they want money from you. You can always check with them. Antivirus software is handy to have. Free can be worthwhile if you don't have any great any privacy or commercial concerns. And you can uh, basically ignore any message saying that you've got a virus on your device because how do they know? If, uh, think twice. If you change your password, put it in your digital diary, a notebook I'm always talking about, which you can use to record your digital experiences while you're learning. Uh, make sure you put the password and the date and the website on a particular page you keep passwords on, generally at the back of the book I recommend. And uh, you can use a password manager. LastPass is a favoured package used on many devices. So it will keep all of your passwords and only need one password to, to control them all. And then you have the term phishing with a PH. This is a term to, like phishing normally where you're casting out, looking for people who can take up on, your, on their offer rather. Uh, they are the scam artist or the con artist and uh, they're basically looking to get a response from you. So we're back to in the internet city. And you can see there's lots of different places. Lots of different places. Not all are the same. Not everywhere is shiny and bright. Some are dark and a bit sketchy. That's what happens in cities. It's not all shopping malls and civic spaces. It's other things. It gets a bit darker here and there. And remember, we, we can always navigate knowing what an email address looks like and what a web address looks like and what uh, a company name looks like. And this way we can actually start to work out what a scam email is or a scam website is. He's um, the opportunities that opportunists use. Uh, the ways that they get in touch with you to actually make you, uh, or provoke you rather, to stop making decisions. And the only one we've got here that isn't on the internet is the doorstep calls. That's amidst the, the virus situa situation where some people are pretending to be from an organization and they're not really. All of the others, they can pretend. And again, the same rules apply. If in doubt, throw it out. So these are the, the things that scam artists rely on to stop you making decisions. The fear of missing out, which is maybe the uh, a potential for large amounts of money or for a missing a delivery, all sorts of things. And fear, which is maybe about a payment that's due uh, for the tax or for the TV license or for all sorts of reasons. And then gullibility. Well, this actually about all of those other things and more. It's about the ability for you not to have any knowledge about how to contact organizations and to follow things up and to just believe the person on the other line, on the end of a phone call. So 
it's, uh, it's these three things, the main aspects of what they, they rely on. What can you do about it? Well, let's look at what you shouldn't do. You shouldn't worry, you shouldn't react straight away, and you should, shouldn't believe the message without thinking about it. What can you do that's worthwhile? Don't react straight away, think twice and report it. So think twice is about understanding maybe a little bit of technology you may have to actually uh, find out who actually sent an email or if you've actually got some money to pay or a phone in your bank or getting in touch with the, the council. The places with which these scam artists are trying to get money from you or get some control of your device. So, this is a little story that happened recently. I received this message. I picked it up on an iPad. Uh, you can see it says DPD. And it can't deliver my message tomorrow, which is very odd. Couriers only say that they can't deliver the message, that, uh, the package that day, or they've missed me. They don't actually say you're not going to get it tomorrow. It's not in their interests. So I thought, okay, let's have a look at this uh, email address because it says DPD parcel, not DPD. And there I tapped on the email address and up pops this email address here, taji at sanwang.co.gp, which indicates a company in Japan. It may be just a complete bogus, bogus address setup. And here's the website that it takes me to. Completely shoddy, really, for a corporate website. It doesn't look very good. And um, so I thought, yeah, this isn't this isn't really very clever. But hold on, what's this? Oh yes, I've got the web address and the email address. And that web address wasn't DPD. You could see it says vanicviva.com, which is not DPD. So this is the DPD website. Uh, this is in December. And you can see that they're aware of this. And they've actually put it on their front page. And it looks very corporate. The text looks better. And also, they've indicated there's an email address uh, that you should send any fraudulent emails to phishing, with a ph, at dpdgroup.co.uk. And I went back. I went back to that website, and there you go. It's gone. It's obviously been uncovered, their little scam, and they've pulled it down. 404 is a message to indicate the website is not there. So what can you? What else can you do? You can get in touch with your bank, and you can uh, s search through Google and type "report a scam" and then put the bank name that you're with. You can find in the list a report mechanism, and you can also go to GetSafeOnline.org, which is a website specifically about advice and guidance on how to deal with or protect yourself from scams. And then you can actually go to Action Fraud, which is reporting scams to the police. So you've got a few mechanisms there, and it's good to just have some knowledge in the first place. Thanks. Mm -hmm.